hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel um today i am going to do a makeup tutorial not that i am a makeup artist i am doing this based on how i do my makeup a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial based on how i do my get ready with me because i don't talk i usually just do it because that's the point of me just getting ready and show you, showing you guys what i do i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys so i i'm gonna prime my face with that all right guys so i'm gonna brush everybody know this part right then you take your brow gel i use LA Girl Pro Pomade. This is a soft brown, which I love. And then this is a dark brown. I just got this, so I think I'm gonna go with the soft. The key to a good eyebrow is brushing your eyebrows, okay? So I just come, I'm gonna get a little closer to you guys. Notice I didn't put a lot in the beginning because it's supposed to have a natural look. Now it's not done yet, but when I do go over it with concealer, it's gonna look like something, you know, that I will be satisfied with. But. So you want to use your concealer. Mine, me, yeah, I use a Day Pro concealer. And then you go on the top. Lids. I do this because it just helps you when you put in your shadow it gets to stick sometimes I even spray my brush before I use the shadow on my eye so I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelids you take your beauty beauty blender so I just see that And then you dab your tip. Then I'll use this brush. It's not flat either. It's it has volume to it. Then I pull up this. I'll use that. Take the base first. And then I will put it right here. <sighs> Jesus, this is hard. <laughs> okay. Make sure you bring a little bit up, not all the way over there, but you see how it's doing? It's like a nice cloud. Mm, I think that's the word I was looking for. Go into right here, change your brush. See, I, I changed my brush to a darker one, just, just so I know. And I'm gonna go in here, take this color, and I'm gonna bring it right here. Then, remember this brush? You bring it over here. See? It helps you create that nice transition. This is the black. And then you kind of go back and forth with it. Makeup takes time and you need to be patient. If you are not trying to look like we who have practiced look at the end 
then don't do it. It's like if you are trying to, you're gonna have to be patient and just keep trying. Then you take this again. To do your cut crease, this is how you do it. Just follow how I'm doing it, and you're gonna be able to do it as well. Right, you take your concealer. See, I'm struggling to get mine out. But you put where you didn't touch yet, okay? You put right here. Okay. You put right here. Now what you're gonna do, you're just gonna look up. You have a cut crease stop where you can just now I think mine went a little overboard. Hold on. There you go. And now you just fill in. Fill in the gap, so be careful. I usually take a little bit of my my beauty blender and just kind of like dab on it because I feel like it's too wet, so. You want it to still be a little uh, wet, but not too much. I'll just take my flat brush and then I'll just. Just don't know what color I'm going for. I have this too. I'm gonna spray my brush. Why? Because it helps me pick up the product much better. <laughs> I'm the pride, I'm the king, I'm the joy, I'm the love of my family. I'm a real artist. What I just did there was fix the crease because you wanted to have a nice smooth transition. You have your foundation. I use Revlon. Some bronzer. 